More campaign 2016 coverage now. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in Concord, New Hampshire at K6 campaign headquarters. Steve, what's the atmosphere like there tonight? Well, it was absolutely crazy earlier when John Kasich took the podium and started speaking to this crowd, chanting his name. But, you know, we went to a lot of the different watch parties throughout New Hampshire today looking at the state. There's just nothing like this state on primary day. So much energy, so much excitement. And although John Kasich finished in second, not first, the supporters here were just as excited as the supporters for Donald Trump. Looks like we're having a technical difficulty right now, but uh, you know we went to Marco Rubio's watch party in New uh, in Manchester, New Hampshire, and he had quite a following there. He was disappointed with the results, but you wouldn't know it when you were talking to his supporters out there. I actually ran into State Rep Dan Riley while he was out there, and he was very enthusiastic for Marco Rubio, joking that he was in the state earlier talking about um, tolling, and he'll be talking about tolling tomorrow. But wanted to come and uh, speak to, and uh, speak with other supporters of. Marco Rubio today and we also were at Bernie Sanders um, watch party as well and I believe we now have the story we can take you to shake you inside a lot of those watch parties now. Bernie. Across New Hampshire, campaigns are celebrating, especially Bernie Sanders' camp. Go, Bernie! <laughs> His setup in Concord sold out for the night. These two from Rhode Island campaigned all day for Sanders, and although they can't get in, they're happy for the projected win. Great to see how many people are still standing here trying yeah. to get in there. and. You know, there have been hundreds of people who have come up here, found out that they needed a ticket to get in and have walked away. I think this place could, could have had twice as many people in it. It feels great. Yeah, it feels like, uh, you know, we actually contributed and helped, and, and it's, it's, it's amazing. And moving to Manchester, we caught up with Rhode Island State Rep Daniel Riley at the Marco Rubio watch party. Is it nice to be at a political event and not talking about bridge tolls? It's a great feeling, uh, especially because I started the day with bridge tolls, and then tomorrow will be all bridge tolls. Uh, a little but, Marco Rubio break. A, a little Marco, a little national politics break, which is really cool. And uh, what I like about it is being in New England, you're really so close to the action. Just after the polls close, it's already packed here at the watch party for Marco Rubio's campaign. And take a look behind us at all of the cameras here. More than 500 credentialed media for Marco Rubio's watch party. And Governor John Kasich's watch party back in the Granite State's capital had fans worldwide, like Gary Wollins from the United Kingdom, who came all this way to support the Ohio governor. This is not a, this is the closest thing we've got to a statesman again uh, running for office. You know, th this is not just a politician. This is somebody who uh, has a heart. And I actually saw Gary Wollen after Kasich's speech. He was pretty happy. That's because he actually got a special shout out from Governor Kasich, thanking him for coming all the way from the United Kingdom to be here today. A lot of excitement in this state. We'll send it back to you. Steve, we know uh, Bernie Sanders was a sellout. What about Donald Trump? I know people were pretty excited about his win. Absolutely. You know, we went to over the, um, to a lot of the different campaigns and everything. Almost all of them were at capacity. You couldn't even get into the room. That was certainly true at Trump's campaign. They basically told people, stop coming because you can't get in through the door at this point. So, you know, really, there's just so many people that come here for these campaigns from out of state to try to get the vote out. So you have all those people coming in. And then, of course, the in-state supporters that voted for these candidates today that wanted to be there to see them speak today. So just a lot of support for politics here in New Hampshire. We'll send it back to you. All right, thank you, Steve. I would assume supporter Steve Nielsen live in Concord, New Hampshire for us tonight. And there is less than a month to go to the Massachusetts presidential primary, and the deadline to register to vote is tomorrow. The Massachusetts primary will be held on Super Tuesday, which is March 1st.